what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk just pearly things is a youtuber that many people have had a lot to say about in the last few weeks especially me and the Nick Fuentes debacle was one thing that is not what we're talking about today. And she made a mistake reacting to a video that Alba and Preach did about her, where in my honest opinion, she should have just let that go. And what we're gonna find out in this particular video that I'm doing is that this is more evident that Jess Pearly thinks for the subject matter or niche matter that she's dealing with, she doesn't understand what she's talking about for the most part you know she can have some things decent to say here and there but the reality is she's not making a whole lot of sense and this is coming from a guy who favors men myself in in, in creating content pieces because i think that that side is not expressed enough but in all fairness you're going to find out just how they deal with her in just a short segment and to be fair, I'm only gonna deal with two points. Um, and those points are basically, you, you know, you should stay with a, a cheating partner no matter what, and exhaustion is a choice, all right? I'm gonna just deal with that. So let me go ahead and play these two clips, uh, this clip here, and then I'm gonna come back. Today, I am going to be reacting to Alvin Preach's hit piece on me. When you have a house, there's a lot of chores. To, mm -hmm. There's a lot of shit to do around the house. A lot. And she works all day bringing that paper, that stack. And then she goes home and she still got to do some work. It's going to it's gonna take a toll. And she doesn't feel like it's separated at work. Like She, it doesn't, she doesn't feel like the, 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 the work is equally separated at home. It's going to be a burden. It's definitely gonna be a burden. And see, like, this is the thing. A lot of these reaction channels will try to nitpick and they'll be like, well, if she's working, the chores are gonna be hard. Guys, marriage is supposed to be hard. Um, and I've told this story like many times on my channel, so I'm just gonna tell it again. Uh, there's a relative of mine and um, this relative was married for 50 years. And um, this woman did not believe in divorce. Like it, it, it was just not an option in her book. And her husband actually left the family for another woman. And she she prayed to God for a solution because that, that was her belief. She did not believe in marriage. Sorry, she did not believe in divorce. So her husband um, leaves and the side chick died. He came home and she didn't throw it over his head. She asked where they went wrong in the marriage and how they could fix it. And that's the thing. Like a lot of times people on our generation are so quick to throw in the, in the towel. Like people used to have their husbands go to war. Is your idea of commitment Staying married until death do us part to somebody who left you for another person? What? Fellas, if your wife leaves you for another woman and tries to get married with that person and they're together for a long time and then the other man dies and she tries to come back, are you a great husband for waiting? But you expect the woman to do that. They would have called that man a whole A simp. A simp. They would have called him Listen, just lonely things over here, okay, without her man, okay, is telling you to wait lonely by yourself years for a husband who not coming home. What? Work all day, you have to go home, then you have to cook. Yeah, you have to cook. Then you have to clean. Then you have to put the, the kids to bed. Then you have to. Do but do you hear how spoiled we are? Do you, do you hear how spoiled this sounds? Like people used to get divorced for real reasons, like the death of a child. You know, my husband's mistress, and now. It, it's because you're frustrated over a messy house. But after a couple of weeks, it, it's really fast for you to be drained. You figure to yourself, why not drain? But, but that's a choice. You you can allow it to drain you or you cannot. Just keep it rolling. Just, just, just. He said, you're drained? That's a choice. You think being physically exhausted is a choice? You think somebody working two jobs, coming home late at night, goes right to bed, doesn't cook or do the dishes? You think that's a f Choice. Said hey, everybody was... right now who's struggling and who's really feeling tired because you've got multiple jobs, it's because you choose to be exhausted. You know, I've lived with all different types of people, I swear. I, I always had different roommates in college. Um, and it, it really is a choice at the end of the day. Because... And I grew up with nine siblings, nine. I'm telling you, shit can be worked out. This is coming from a girl who grew up in a mansion and has daddy pay all her bills. She's trying to tell you guys where physical exhaustion comes from. The one of the most which people in America is telling you physical exhaustion is in your brain. You're imagining it. So let me, 
let me deal with the the first perspective that Auburn Preach did an excellent job on. And shout out to Preach, man. That guy is 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 very very into both of them. Both of the guys are great. All right, I used to just like didn't really like their content, but these guys are excellent. I'm sorry, like I've never seen a duo that the accuracy of what they're talking about is so it's so undeniable. Like I'm like wow, this is this is good stuff. The first thing they say is you should stay no matter what, right? She, she mentions this woman who didn't want to get divorced. The husband left her. The side chick dies. He came back, right? And then they worked it out. The lady didn't say anything. They make the excellent point that in the manosphere, which is the community that I've been known to be a part of, especially in the black sector, we would never tell a man, okay, your wife left you. The guy died. Take her back. And you take her back because it would indicate that that person would have absolutely no respect for you because then they can do whatever they want. No matter if you want to get divorced or not, you're going to be miserable. That would indicate that. Like we would even, we would have even perverse names for men who did that. And they talked about it. Simp being the, the very nicest word. Secondarily, we talked about this whole idea of exhaustion is a choice, right? She was saying like, you know, you choose to be exhausted. You choose to be tired that's a choice now let me let me just try to say this it, 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 i've heard certain other arguments like sexuality is a choice i've heard things said that poverty is a choice productivity is a choice but exhaustion is a choice i mean it's just physiologically impossible either you're in shape or you're not either you're mentally capable or you're not and as a person that has worked Every day this year, except for January the 1st, this is now April the 20th, and right now I'm recording this, I've worked over 100-something days straight. Christmas, everything, the year before, every holiday. Um, exhaustion is, uh, you wake up exhausted. Now, whether you work or not is up to you. But burnout is real. I was in medical school, like freshman year, first year rather, when you had histology and Lippincott biochemistry and Moore's anatomy and Guyton's physiology. And you had a quiz every section, genetics, you know, those kind of courses. Literally, you're thinking about crying. You're doing Q-banks and all that stuff. Exhaustion is just, you have no choice in the matter. You are tired. Nobody goes to medical school or any professional school or law school or pharmacy school. And then you come back or dental school. And then you come back and say, oh yeah, I'm not tired. I, I, I just choose not to be tired. You just deal with not being tired, but you're definitely tired. And again, this is somebody who speaks from a, 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 a place of no real experience. Yet you're here trying to solve relationship problems only because really you're grifting the industry. You've heard what these people say. You've never had any real life experience dealing with these things. And you're talking about these things as if it is fact. And that's one thing I've noticed from some of these channels that are, are blowing up in the manosphere that are younger. You know, these people are more likely to repeat what they have heard and they and, and, and it sounds unauthentic. For example, some of the things I'm talking about, like I, I never go into detail about marriage. If you ever hear that, I'm, a, I'm a, I've never been a married man or raising kids. Those things are those are concepts that I have never experienced. I don't know what it's like being married. I could guess. I don't know what it's like raising kids. I can guess, but I don't know what that's like. So I, I can't speak to that. I'm ignorant to that fact. So I stay away from that content. I don't give advice on that content, but this is something that she readily tries to entertain, which it makes you look stupid by somebody who really understands how it works. It's almost like somebody who's not a business person telling me how to run a business. Eventually, by the way you talk, I'm going to you know, find out that you don't know what you're talking about, that you're lying. So, and this has nothing to do with just pretty things allegedly being, a, um, you know, having racist people there or having racist ideology. This is something just what they're dealing with is that you just don't know what you're talking about. And if you watch their whole entire video, they're going to go into detail about how she lies about her research. I mean, like this is this, this video is almost an assassination on her on, 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 on her ideas. So check them out, guys. First, come up at the top. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. We're out.